We break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you out but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that Oh, keep telling myself that I should let go But I hold on And oh, keep telling myself that I should move on But I don't Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new, karibu, welcome and feel at home. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always making time to come and be with me. So today, I visited the famous Gedi Ruins here in Otamu. The park has a butterfly farm and a snake farm. The Gedi Ruins are a historical and archaeological site that traces its origin in the 12th century. It is situated 65 miles north of Mombasa, and about 10 miles south of Malindi town. The ruins are a remain of a Swahili town and are buried deep in a lush Arabuko Sokoke forest. The town is believed to have been wealthy. This is evidenced by the conglomeration of mosques, a magnificent palace and houses. In the first half of the 17th century, the last families that lived in the Gedi town left. Gedi's eventual abandonment to nature is believed to be as a result of a number of factors, namely the Wazimba raid along the East African coast in 1589, the removal of the Sheikh of Malindi and the Portuguese to Mombasa in 1593, the falling water table, and finally the overhanging menace of the Gala, a hostile nomadic ethnic group from Somalia. After its abandonment, the ruins were first visited by Sir John Kirk, a British resident of Zanzibar in 1884. He began archaeological work on the ruins that led to the excavation of many objects like two Chinese coins, a porcelain bowl, scissors, a Venetian bead, an iron lamp, and curry shells. It is speculated that curry shells may have been the principal currency at Gedi since they were found in greater abundance than struck coins. The Gedi town is divided by two walls, the outer wall and the inner wall. The inner wall is believed to have been where the elite and most important people lived due to the two mosques, a palace or sheikh's house, four large houses and four large pillar tombs, all made from coral. Coral was the common construction material for important structures at that time period. It is not only the quality of ruins that amazes visitors, but also the advanced nature of the settlement. Gedi was in many ways a very advanced city with streets, running water, flushing toilets, and bathtubs. Yes, you got that right, bathtubs. Correcting the assumption that Africa was far behind the rest of the world before colonialism. Although Gedi remained unknown to most British East Africa's colonists until the 1920s, the site was known by the local Mijikenda people. Currently, the Guriama, one of the Mijikenda tribes, maintain a large community around the Gedi ruins who view the site as a sacred and spiritual place. Inside the Gedi National Park, we also found Kipepeo Butterfly House, a community butterfly project that was started in 1993 for the main objective of conserving the Arabuko Sokoke forest. The farmers get stock from Arabuko Sokoke forest, they breed the butterflies in their homes and bring the pupa to this butterfly house. It is the collection center. The life cycle of a butterfly is truly amazing. They have four life stages, the egg, the larva or what is called the caterpillar, the pupa or what is called chrysalis and adult butterfly. Each of the four stages are very unique to individual species of butterflies. Now, there are tons of species of butterflies in the world. Did you know that a female butterfly lays about 50 to 120 butterflies in its lifetime? Also, once butterflies hatch from the pupa, they mate and they stay in that position for about six hours. That's right, six good hours of hard work. And after that, they don't mate again in their lifetime. But the female lays the eggs until it dies. In a nutshell, in their lifespan, 
the female adult butterflies must find a mate and the right plants on which to lay their eggs to begin the butterfly life cycle all over again. If you wish to visit the Gedi ruins, the entrance fee is 100 Kenyan shillings for Kenyan adults and 20 US dollars for non-Kenyan adults. Similar charges apply for the snake farm and butterfly house. If you take up all the activities, it will be 300 Kenyan shillings for the Kenyan adults and 60 US dollars for the non-Kenyan adults. Kids pay 50 Kenyan shillings and 10 US dollars for non-Kenyans. So that's it guys for today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe. It's absolutely free to subscribe. As always, remember to be kind to one another, love one another, and treasure every minute you spend with one another because tomorrow is never promised. Ciao, ciao.